Okay. Um. Assalamualaikum. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, hopefully you can see the writing. Right? Uh, let me try to turn on the All right. So let's see. All right. So I think you guys can see this clearly. Um, I cannot hear any sound. Uh, please send any if you can hear my voice. Yes, uh, I can hear daughter. Okay, good, thank you. All right. All right, so I think we can start. What's the time now? Okay, 12.15, 12.17. Okay, by the way, I will not be taking any... I don't think I will take any attendance, All right? Not take at the attendance. All right, so this is just basically additional class if you want, right? So you can just um, listen to this session, okay? There's no, I don't think there's any exercise for you you can then, uh, you can do. So since uh, some of you are at home, uh, away from UTHM, so that's why we have to, to do it online. All right, so this is my way of doing the online session. Okay, let's go, let's go uh, start to some of the topics we I want to discuss. All right. Um, hang on, where is it? Okay. So symmetry of the waveform, right? Of the waveform. So if you can recall that in Fourier series, we have the equation, right? Equation of Fourier series, which is given, okay? It is given in the final exam question, it's given, so you don't have to memorize, but this is the general equation, right? A cos n of omega not t p n sine n omega not t right and we have each of these coefficient we have to calculate each of these right so we have to calculate a not also the equation is given, so you don't have to worry about the memorizing the equation, but you do need to know how to use it, okay? So that is, the n is two over t. All these are given, you don't have to worry. But you do need to understand how to use Right. Then finally, this one is mm. right. FT. This is cos, so this is sine, and oh. oh my god, not t. So to get this Fourier equation, you have to calculate the coefficient. A not A N and B N. All right. So I think <laughs> all these are given. All right. So now we have to determine the F T. Right. F T. F T. So this F T is taken from the waveform. All right. So let's say we have waveform right for example so it can be any 
shape of waveform. Sawtooth, this side, this uh, direction, or sawtooth in the other direction. It can be so many triangle, rectangle shapes as long as it is repetitive. Okay, so so that it, so as long as it is repetitive, we can represent this into Fourier series. Okay. Um, and if you can recall, last time in our previous class, we have seen that sometimes Hello, boleh dengar? Boleh, boleh. Tadi, tadi, tadi saya off eh? Oh, daripada awal tadi saya off eh, mikrofon yeah, saya. Ya, ya, ya. Oh baru ada, okay saya tak sure kenapa dia tiba-tiba off sendiri, okay. Okay, dan apa-apa beritahu dia eh, alright. So, alright, so for example, um, for example, if we have this waveform and the amplitude here is 2 and the amplitude here is negative 2, then the, um, the upper positive side and negative side of the waveform is similar or even, then the DC is zero, okay? But if we have something like this, and this is four, here is zero, then this DC is two. We can straight away say that the, uh, the value is two because it is basically have moved up by two, okay? Right, initially it was like this, but we have moved it up or shift up by two. So we know DC is two. All right, so what I am trying to uh, say here is that you can actually um, simplify your calculation. Okay, you can simplify your calculation you don't have to calculate A naught, A N, and B N all three all together. You don't have to calculate this. There is a way, there is a shortcut for you to avoid to uh, calculating all these three. Okay, so that's why you have to understand the concept of symmetry of the waveform, right? Now let's look at some example. So there are several types of uh, symmetry. This is actually um, available in the slides. Right? But I haven't got the, uh, the time to explain this to you so we will look at uh, this uh, today so we have even symmetry we have odd we have half wave and we have quarter wave all right so we have four different symmetry all right and if we can memorize even odd or half wave and we can identify or we can recognize that this waveform is even symmetry or odd symmetry or half wave symmetry 
then we can uh, avoid, uh, we don't have to calculate all three coefficients, A0, AN, and BN. All right, for example, first let's look at uh, even symmetry, okay? Let's look at even symmetry. So even symmetry is basically when the function on the um, um, function on the um, on the right side of the uh, axis is similar or symmetrical on the left side of the axis or so if we have so this is our this is our axis right this is our vertical axis so we call it even symmetry if the waveform is symmetrical on this axis okay for example if we have something like this, right? So you can see that if you fold this, right, it is similar, right? It's symmetrical. Symmetrical on the vertical edge. So that is even symmetry. Symmetrical on the vertical axis is even uh, even symmetry okay i think you can how to memorize is like even symmetry vertical something like that it's up to you how you memorize this so if you can identify that this waveform is uh, even symmetry then you can actually uh, simplify your calculation Okay, with A not zero T over two F T D T A N four over T integration from T over two to zero F T cos N omega not t and bn is simply zero okay bn is simply zero now let's look at the previous equation the general equation here so a not is one over t integration from zero to t ft dt so this is for a not now, if it is an, an even symmetrical waveform, then A0 is 2 over T, integration from 0 to T over 2, FT dt. So, it is slightly different, right? This slightly different compared to the general equation of A0, right? Um, but if you cannot memorize this, it is okay you can just use this. It is still, it will give you the same answer, all right? Okay, because here you can see that you are integrating from zero to T, which is from here to here. The whole waveform, or here you have to integrate, um, yep, from here to here. You have to integrate from zero to t the whole waveform right but if you can memorize this equation that is it tells us that you don't have to integrate from zero to t uh, zero to t you just integrate from zero to t over two but you have to use this equation two over t integration zero to t over two which is basically you just need to integrate from here to here meaning that you need to integrate. So this is the only FT. See here, we have FT, 
that you need to use. You, you need to input here so that you can integrate. So that FT is this line. If you use this equation, but if you cannot memorize that equation, you can always use the general equation, which is one over t integration from zero to t ft dt. So in this case, you have to integrate from zero to here for this ft, and then plus t over two to t for this ft. So you have to do two integrations if you use this equation. All right, but if you can memorize this, you can use this and and only. Sim okay, it has simplify your solution. All right, but of course this is not given in final exam. All right, this is not given in final exam. All right, so that is a naught, and then we have a n. So a n is four over t integration from zero to t over two, meaning that half cycle you only need to integrate half cycle so here you have four compared to the previous one right this is for the full the general one the the general equation integrate from zero to t ft um two over t right but if you know that this is even symmetrical then you don't have to integrate from 0 to t. You just integrate from 0 to t over 2. And this 2 over t, you change it 4 over t. That's all. And finally, for um, bn, right? you can simply assume you just say that bn is 0. Okay. If you put this in your solution, in your final exam, Okay, in your final exam, you say that this is even symmetrical, uh, even symmetry, so therefore Bn is zero. There is no um, calculation to prove this. I will accept your answer. I will accept your answer, even though you put Bn equals zero, because you know that this is even symmetry. Okay, no need to prove this, right? Um, so you can see that if you know that this is even symmetry, so you have, you don't have to calculate this because even if you calculate, in the end you will get zero. Okay, even though you can you can do your calculation, no problem, but you will get zero. All right, you will get zero if it is an even symmetry. All right. So this is how you simplify the um your solution okay simplify your calculation um in final exam okay in final exam there will be one waveform okay there will be one waveform where you will have to calculate the ft all right so that is that is uh one tip so you already given you one tip okay so be prepared with this calculation all right so that is even symmetry, and this is the this is the um, equation. This equation to further simplify. So besides this, what else can we draw? Okay, any example, any other examples? Let's say, okay, as long as it is symmetrical on the vertical axis, okay, it, it is even symmetry. For example. Let's say we have something like this. Okay. Symmetrical, yes. Okay. Right. This is also um to make sure this is two, this is two, right? The the the, the width is two. So it, this is symmetrical as well. All right. And even This one. Let's say this is two. This is four. Doesn't look symmetrical, but it is actually even symmetrical. 
right? Because if you fold this here, you will get similar shape or similar waveform on the left side, all right? Move over maybe one more. All right? So this is also even symmetrical. As long as you can fold it, you'll get the same shape, same waveform, then it is even, all right? So that is even symmetry. Now let's go to odd symmetry. All right, odd symmetry. So odd symmetry is um, you have you basically fold um, fold the waveform on both vertical and horizontal axis. Or right, negative F T. Or for example, let's say um, yeah, All right? Okay, so basically, you fold this on the vertical axis, and then you fold it again on the horizontal axis then you will get the same shape. All right, you can see here, if you fold it, and then you fold it, or you inverse, all right? So this one, if you fold, you'll get something like this. But if you, if you fold it on the horizontal, then you'll get like this. So this is called odd axis. Oh, sorry, odd symmetry. Okay, odd symmetry. Fold here, fold here, then you get the same shape, then this is odd symmetry. So this is different with compared to the even symmetry. You fold here, you get the same shape, right? Then this is even. Here, you fold here, and then you flip, right? Then if you get the same shape, then this is called odd symmetry. Okay, so other types of odd symmetry is is right. So because when you fold it and you flip it, you'll get the same shape. So here, fold it here and then you fold it here. So right, so you get the same point, then it is uh, odd symmetry. Other example, I make sure it's uh, repetitive, so you have to, right. right, so this is repetitive, hold it here, hold it here, you get the same shape, so this is odd symmetry. All right, so for odd symmetry, you can simplify your Equation or A not A N and B N. So one tips you can remember is that now if you look at this, this is similar to right similar to sine wave right similar to sine wave so if you look at here bn sine an cos so for the ft because it is similar to sine wave so it should have this answer. 
So it will not have any cost component in the result, in the calculation or in the result. So because it is similar to sine wave, so this cost is zero, meaning a n is zero, all right? So a n is zero, a naught is also zero because there is no DC component shift up or shift down, or we only have to calculate for b n, which is if we look at this, 2 over t, integration from 0 to t, f t, sine n omega naught t. Yes, I, I know that this is signed. Right? I know, right? So, b n, this is uh, the, the, the general one, the general equation to calculate coefficient b n. b n is 2 over t, integration 0 to t, f t, sine n omega naught t. So this is the general one, and because we have to simplify, we have simplified, then now it's 4 over t, right? Okay, we don't have to calculate, or we don't have to integrate from 0 to t, we just have to integrate from 0 to t over 2, okay? T over 2. And then, um, so here, uh, same thing, Ft sine and omega naught T. All right. And don't forget what is omega naught? 2 pi F or 2 pi T. So what is T here? So you have to, okay, this is T. It right. depends on the waveform, what is the value here, 2 pi or pi or 4, it's up to, you have to look at the uh, waveform. All right, so you can see that you have simplified, you don't have to calculate A0, you don't have to calculate AN, you just need to calculate BN, and even though you calculate BN, you don't have to, let's say for example this one, you don't have to calculate BN for this and this, just T over 2 up here. Right, so this is if this is t, you only have to calculate t over two. It has further reduce your calculation. So this one, if you can master, you can understand and use this concept. Or right, then then you can reduce a lot of time in your uh, final exam and avoid. Um, unnecessarily uh, mistake in your calculation, all right? So you can just simplify A0 is 0, A N 0, that is, you say this is odd symmetry, then A0 is 0, A N 0, then you, I will give you marks. I will give you marks for this, even though you don't have, you don't, you don't show any calculation because this is odd symmetry and you know that is 0. All right. So besides that, other shape of is this. All right. Still hot symmetry as well. And then the next one is half wave symmetry. Halfway symmetry, which is um, further reduce your computation, uh, uh, calculation, computation, right? But it's, it's not, um, how should I say, sometimes the waveform is not odd symmetry, sometimes the waveform is not even symmetry, but it is halfway symmetry. So there is a difference. So meaning that not all waveforms fall under either odd or even. There is another shape or waveform or symmetrical waveform. Even, oh, sorry. Half wave. 
सिमेट्री ओके तो फॉर एग्जांपल ऐसे वी हैव दिस एक्सिस एंड वी हैव दिस right so is this a repetitive waveform yes it is repetitive so this is the t right it repeat itself right so this is this waveform we can get the fourier series right but if you look clearly this is not even and this is not odd as well so if this is even if we fold it it will be similar so it's not even all right not even but if we fold it here and fold it here it will actually looks like this right we fold it here and then we fold it here we get something like this so this is also not odd all right but this is what we call half wave symmetry okay so half wave symmetry is basically t minus capital t so meaning if we shift it okay move or shift by half cycle all right and then fall at x exists right shift and then fall what happen is that you will get this right you shift it fall then you get this which is similar then this is called half wave symmetry you move it by half cycle and it's, it is symmetrical on the x axis all right shift by half cycle and uh, symmetrical at x axis so this is the definition of half wave symmetry all right now here immediately you can say that because it is symmetrical on the y axis so you know that a0 a dot is 0 because it's symmetrical on the x axis so there's no dc component but here you have a n and b n you have both okay you have both of this component it has sine and cos component in the equation but the way it helps you simplify your calculation is that here you have to for a n it is 4 over t okay remember this is similar to here 4 over t right integration from 0 to t half a cycle half cycle right ft so a is cos cos n t right so this is for and what for n 
odd. What is n here? N is this one. And n, right? Or n1, n2, n3, and so on. So for n odd, you have the value of a n. So you have a1, a3, a5, a7, and so on. But for for an even, it is zero. Okay, All right. So same thing for this. Same thing four over t, which is quite similar to the odd or even symmetry, which we have simplify 4 over t integration from 0 to half cycle right so 4 over t integration from 0 to half cycle ft this is b so sine and t so this is same thing only available for n odd and for and even it is zero. All right. Okay, so this is something uh, you, it's not that difficult to memorize because you just, um, this one is actually from the general equation, which is T zero FT sine See, right, so you just have to change this to four. So that is that is the the only change you need to do for B and so on. Right? Okay, even even zero. So um any other examples of same thing? Okay, so this is half-wave symmetry, right? This is half-wave symmetry, which is you shift it to the left by half cycle. Okay, this is your half cycle. This is your half cycle. You shift it to the left and fold it. If you get similar, right, shift it this shift it and fold it you get similar then this is half wave symmetry and if we look at this this is odd symmetry this is odd symmetry but it is also half wave symmetry how so you can see here that um, if we shift this, okay, if we shift this here, and then you fold it, x axis, it is also half wave symmetry. So this waveform is odd symmetry and also half wave symmetry. So it depends. You can also use this. So if you let's say you you use you have this waveform, you can have this. You, you can use this to get the coefficient, or you can also use this to get the coefficient, right? But when you do this, you will notice that B n only exists for n is odd. And even you calculate this, you get zero. And or odd or even, you will get zero for this waveform. All right. Um, so besides this, um, what else? Um, uh, this is also half wave symmetry. This is in. We have shown that this is odd symmetry, but this is also half wave symmetry because see we've shifted and folded it will give the same shape, same waveform. So this is also 
half wave symmetry right meaning you can use this or you can use this it will give you the same answer but i will combine both basically i will say n not is zero a n is zero b n i will only calculate b n for odd only even is zero all right so that is one way you can uh, um, simplify your calculation like i said before um, there will be one question asking you to get the ft uh, given the waveform Notification, do we have a notification? Uh, okay, so Adam is recording, thank you. Um, let's see if we have any chat. Okay, chat ni 258. Okay, saya mute tadi because of... Um, okay, next is... Um, uh, another example. Let's say we have this is one exa um, exercise I want to show in uh, uh, this class. So right. Let's do one exercise, an example. So find the Fourier series. Right, FP. So this is six, six zero. Um, sorry, this one, this is two. So this is the FT, this is the T. All right. Find the Fourier series, FT of the waveform. So first of all, the equation is FT equals A naught plus summation N1 to infinity, A N cos N omega naught T plus B N cos N omega not t All right so here it is not um even it is not odd okay this is also not uh, not uh, half wave so we have to calculate all three All right so first of all we have to uh, get the a naught, which is 1 over t, integration of ft dt from 0 to t. All right, so now what is the t? t is from 0 
to 1, which is 1. All right. And what is FT here? FT is the piecewise function. Okay, piecewise function. Um, so you see that piecewise function is very important. I mentioned this from the first chapter. All right, you need to know how to get the piecewise function of this line. Okay, so this line is actually y equals mx plus c. Okay, or mx plus c. Okay, this ft. Right, ft mt plus c. So this is t. Yeah. All right. So this is actually um, the ang the the slope is six. The yeah. crossing at y axis is zero. So this is actually six t. That's zero, right? So this is our FT. So here we can calculate one over T is one, regression from zero to one, FT is 60 DT, all right? So, um, all right, 60. Okay, so A not. So now we have to integrate sixty, which is t two squared over two. Okay, okay. integration from zero one zero. So this is uh, six minus six, All right? So we have three, All right? So we can actually see from here that, so this is six, this is actually Three here, negative three here. So it has moved three to get this shape. Right, moved by three. So this is the, the DC component. Okay. So that is A naught. Next. An so an is two over t from zero to t ft a cos and omega not t right so two over t which is one okay so here we have to um use this ft this ft is 60 and this 60 is from 0 to 1 All right so you have to be careful because in this case you only have one line in one complete cycle so if you have 
something like this. This is your ft from 0 to t over 2, and this is your ft from t to t over 2. So you have to do two integrations, right? So in this case, you only have one integration, right? Cos n, now what is our omega naught? Omega naught is is 2 pi f, all right? All 2 pi t, which is, in this case, is 2 pi, cos t is 1, all right? All right, so this is, um, we can see that this is going to be a bit complicated, okay? This is going to be a bit complicated because we have function of t and we have function of t. We have two functions of t, okay? Multiplication of two function of t. So we have to use um integration u dv u du and so on right if you can uh, recall that part so let's see if we can recall that so integration of 6t cos 2 by nt dt, okay, right, uh, 2 pi nt, all right, so uh, let's forget about the 2 first, we put it back later, right, so here, um but my solution my solution all right okay u v minus uh um what is this Integration V du, right? U V minus integration V du. So integration by parts, right? So basically, you have to, uh, you have to. Um, do several exercises, do several examples because, because sometimes um, or sometimes your um, your uh, examples do not use this integration by parts. Okay, if your example is like this, like this, then your ft is 2, but your ft is just a single value 2. And in this case, you will not have problem to do integration by part. But in this case, because your ft is a function of t itself, this ft is function of t itself. So now you have problem with integration by parts. You have function of t, function of t. You, have, you need to integrate this. So you have to do integration by parts. All right. So 
integration by parts. So u d minus v uh, u v minus integration v d u. Yes. Uh, give me a moment to double check my solution. Integration uh, u. EV equals to UV minus integration V DU. Right. So this is your. Um, hang on. Uh, EV V DU. So in this case, your DV is cos. All right. This is your dv. This is u. All right. Um, so u is sixty. Dv is cos two pi n t dt. Is it dt? All right. Okay. So now the solution is u v minus integration v du. So we have to get v. So to get v, we have to integrate this. So v is equals to integration dv right which is integration cos 2 pi nt dt okay and here we will get sine 2 pi nt to pi n. So this is your V. So we have U from here, we have V from here. Now we have to integrate V, E, and DU. We need to get DU. So U is 60, right? Um, U, where is it? Uh, U is 60. DU, uh, integral, uh, U. DT, we get 6, right? We differentiate U against T, right? Differentiate U against T, DU, DT will get 6. All right. So now, du is uh, 6 dt, All right? So we have here u dv, sorry, u is 60, v is sine, to pi n t to pi n right so this is u this is v minus integration of v sine to pi n t to pi n so this is P and DU is 6 dt. So this is DU, All right? So here, the integration of U dV is 6 
t over 2 pi n sine 2 pi n t integration of uh, we can put this outside 6 over 2 pi n integration of pi n t dt okay very lengthy very long um, so you can just put this outside t sine 2 pi n t minus um, sine integrate uh, will get uh, negative cos so cos n by 2 n by t over 2 by n so this is just for integration of u dv which is this, which is, the EN we are trying to solve. And don't forget we have two here. So now, our EN is two, and this is, is this right? Which is this? Which is this? So, yeah, very, very long calculation. T sine two by n t plus cos two by n t over. And here, All right? Okay, so that is the an. That is the an. So next is bn. But before that, can we simplify this? Is it possible to simplify this? Uh, let's see if we can try to expand this. Cos two by n t t. Let me check if I can further simplify this. So this is an EDG. All right, never mind. This is our A N, and then uh, A N. Here, later on, we need to put A N here. All right. Cost by N T. And T is, I think, we are forgetting something here. One. 
Okay. We integrate from zero to one, right? So T is integration from zero to one. Right. So here, okay. I think we forgot something here, right? So here integration, we forgot that. We integrate this from zero to one, right? So here, we integrate from zero to one. Zero to one here, so zero, one here, right? All right, so we have to integrate from zero to one, zero to one here, zero to one here. So here it is zero to one, t is zero to one. So And here we have T and we also need to replace T with either zero or one, right? Mm. Okay, let me let me do this and let me uh, and tell me if I uh, do any mistake, okay? Because uh, right now I'm thinking that we have to replace this zero to one. And then this is also, I think we need to um, replace 0 to 1 as well. Right. That one. Because we need to replace T with 1 and 0 to solve this coefficient. All right. So, okay. So if we replace this, uh, let's just start from here. Start from here, okay, right? Integration u dv. So this one, if we replace one and zero, then um, here is six, one, two, by n sine to by n one minus right six zero to by n sine to by n zero here right. And then this is for this part. Right? This is for this part. Right? This is for A. Then this is for B is num or six to by n. Sign will get negative cos two by n t two by n. This is one zero, right? So we have here. So this is zero. So this is zero. So we have here six over two by n by n. Okay, this is minus six two 
by n. So this is one, so we have negative cos two by n, by n, plus this is minus, and minus, uh, minus, right? This is zero, so cos zero, two by n. Okay. So here, you can further simplify. Right. So so if this is um two pi, this is pi, this is zero. So sine pi is zero sine to pi is zero, sine three pi is also zero. Anything pi to pi, three pi and so on, sine is zero, All right? So here, this is whatever n value, you get this zero, All right? Okay, and this is cos, this is cos. So this is two pi, this is pi. So cos one pi is negative one. Cos two pi is one. So it can be negative one or one and so on. All right, so here depends on the value of n. And here, cos zero is definitely one here. So this is one. So we have two by n here, one over two by n uh, minus cos two by n by n, okay. A very very long solution. All right, um, we can just uh, three. Um, three cos two by n minus three two pi square n square. Wow, it is a very long solution for calculating an, just for an. So an is two by n, two pi square n square. Now right, you can see it's, uh, it's a very long solution just to get the an. All right, and n will, the value the change depends on n, one, two, three, and so on, okay? So this is for a n. Next is b n. So same thing, b n is uh, we need to calculate Bn, and we can expect that the Ft, uh, the calculation for Bn will be long as well. Okay. That is it. Okay. So Bn is 2 over t integrals from 0 to t, Ft, B sign. And oh my god, not t, 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 right? So this is one, fortunately. So this is one. This ft is six t sine n omega naught, which is um oh. 
initial uh, portion t is 1 omega dot is 2 pi oh sorry yeah 2 pi because t is 1 so, so 2 pi t all right Okay. okay, same thing, we have this two function of t, so we have to do integration by parts. Which is integration of u dv is uv minus position v du, right? In this case, um, this is our u, this is our dv. u is 6t, dv is sine, Two pi and t dt. So we have to find u, which is here. We have to find v, which is from doing the integration of this. Then we'll get v sine to which on sine we get negative cos two pi and t. Uh, 2 by n, All right? So we need to get uh, the du. So here, du over dt is 6. Okay, we derive um, u, okay, du over dt. Uh, differentiate, sorry, we differentiate u uh, against dt. Then we get 6, and du is 6 dt. So we have found v. So now we can do integration by parts. u, u is 6 t. Right. v is, dv is this, sine 2 pi and t. Um, Sorry, V, 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 V. V, V is negative cos 2 pi and T, 2 pi N, right? Don't forget, I think this is integration from 1 to 0. Ulat pun nak belajar juga. Okay. Alright. Um, so that is for uv and then minus integration v du okay, which is terus tulis lah integration of v by n t v d u six right okay keluarkan plus panjang eh? very very long um Okay, 60 is 6, 1, negative cos 2 by n, ish, 2 by n, minus 6, 0, 
0 2 pi n okay you can just you know, get positive integration of course we get sine 2 pi n d 2 pi n squared right and 6 here okay equation from 1 to 0 okay so panjangnya all right um, so this is 0 okay that simplify our question, uh, solution um, so 2 pi so cos a cos 1 pi cos 2 pi cos 3 pi and so on is not zero so we cannot cancel that so this one becomes negative 6 cos 2 pi n 2 pi n all right and here 6 sine 1 2 pi <coughs> n Six, okay, sine zero to pi n, then sine zero is zero, sine two pi n is sine two pi n, sine two pi n, and so on is zero as well. So this is zero. So we only have this for integration UDV. And finally, don't forget here, our BN. Our BN is 2. Okay, 2 multiply with the integration, multiply with the integration which is this, negative 6 cos 2 pi n, 2 pi n, or negative, yep, negative 6, n, pi n, so that is the bn. All right, so then the rest is just to put all these coefficients back into the Fourier series. So A, what is it? That is our A naught three. Oh, let me let me just write this down so you can see. All right. So a naught plus summation of a cos and omega naught t plus b sine and omega naught t. Right. So a naught is three summation of a n which is one thirty which is very very lengthy this one so cancel 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 so we get Three and but by n squared one minus cos two and pi. And this is O A N cos and omega dot t plus 
Bn is is right, which is negative three cos two pi m two pi n. Sorry, cancel that. Right, six over two. Right, sine. Um, and oh, maybe they're not the okay. That's it. This is uh, took about 40 minutes to solve. Okay, I hope some of you are still there. I'm at the Tido, so that um, so. One thing we can we can learn from uh, this exercise is that it is possible that you will need to use integration by parts. Okay, integration by parts. So please give it a try so that you know how to use it in case in final exam asks you to solve this kind of uh, questions. All right. I don't forget to um, uh, for Laplace transform. Um, what is it? A partial fraction decomposition. That one you also need to um, okay, recall to do revision so you know how to use it. Um, I think, yep, basically for, for the Fourier series circle application. Okay, Fourier series circuit application. I think um, um, I think we have covered enough um, examples. Okay, plus you have learned this in during your final uh, during your uh, assignment as well. All right, <clears throat> during your uh, assignment as well. Uh, so this is, uh, for example, some of the exercise we have uh, done in the class. So yes, Fourier series is represented by this equation: a dot summation a cos b sine. But it can also be represented by this as well because this is this is a one. This is a uh, sorry. This is cos and this is in um, in is it called amplitude phase form, right? Amplitude phase form. So make sure you know how to get the information from this. So what is the alpha, uh, capital A, the amplitude, and what is the phase? Okay, you need to uh, get the information from this so that you can solve for B out, I out, uh, ampli uh, the, the spec spectra as well, how to draw the spectra, right? Okay, this is also one, uh, one thing you need to learn. Uh, need to do spectra, right? Let's say, for instance, maybe this uh, one last example before we finish our session. Okay, one last example. Let's say we have this. Um, so we know that um, FD K not plus summation. A n cos n omega not t plus b n sin n omega dot t, right? And then we also have the alternative form, which is the amplitude phase form. Still have a not, but here. We have capital A N cos N omega dot T, but plus the angle. 
right? So this is the different. This is different. We have sine, cosine. All right. So, but sometimes the question will not give you in this form. An example can also give you in this form. Right. So, for example, this one. V, let's say this is V supply, for example, the supply voltage, 0 0.5 cos 5T minus 52.2 cos 3 pi T minus 75 plus 0 0.13 cos 5 pi T minus 81 and so on. Right. So this is actually for n equals one. This is for n equals three. This is for n equals five. How do we know that? Because this is this is general equation and omega not t. So this is t, and we don't know. The, the 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 omega naught is pi in this case, all right? Omega naught is pi, so n is one, n is three, n is five. So this is our n, right? So this is a four one. This is a four three, and this is a four five, right? I forgot this is also the angle N as well. Okay, angle N. So this is ang first angle. This is the third angle. This is for fifth angle. And don't forget the negative value because originally it is in positive. So here, we want to plot latitude and phase spectra and just refer to this value. Just take this value, okay? This is N, this is the amplitude. So this is one, three, Five. One is zero point five. Let's just say here. The third one is zero point two. So, so this here. The fifth one is zero point one three, which is about here. So we can just. Right, 0.5, 0.2, 0.13. So this is your amplitude spectra. How about the phase? Phase is in negative, negative, negative. So just draw like this. Right, one, two, one, three, five. So 81, 50, and 75. Let's say this about 50. You don't have to be very accurate. It's about 75, uh, it's about negative 81. So number one is 52. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it, very simple. But in order to draw this, you have to make your Fourier, uh, your your Fourier uh, series in this in this format, which is come from this format. You just have to um, expand this. Okay, A1, you get this. A3, you will get this. A5, you get this, All right? Okay, I think that's all for 
um, today. Um, good luck, good luck for your final exam. Um, I believe uh, the class is uh, I've covered enough. I've covered everything uh, for you to prepare for your final exam. Don't forget to practice uh, to do revision on board plot as well. Okay, please remember how to draw, draw the board plot. Um, your quiz is on board plot. I will try to uh, re, uh, check your quiz and give the answer as soon as possible so that you can do revision. Um, I think that's all. Is there any other questions? Please let me know. Uh, you can turn on the mic or um, put, uh, put in the chat any question. Eh? All right. I think that's all. Thank you, everyone, for this session. Um, again, good luck for your final examination. Uh, I have provided um, equations in the back of the final exam, so hopefully it uh, can help you um, during your final exam. You don't have to memorize everything. All right. I think that's all. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Salam. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. Okay, thank you, Doctor. 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 Thank you, Doctor.